Hey folks, this is Rick Barron with uh, Lincoln Blogs, and I uh, wanted to give you some information about the upcoming Super Bowl, February 4th, and the, uh, the two teams that are competing, as you well know, uh, the Eagles and the Patriots. The, uh, I want to give you a breakdown of some astrological and numerological figures that I'll post uh, on this video. You can read them for yourselves, but I broke them out by team in comparison. And uh, what we have here essentially is um, the Eagles organization uh, was created on July 8th, 1933. That is a cancer under the sign of cancer or the crab. And the Patriots organization, ironically, uh, was created on November 16th, 1959. A scorpion, <laughs> a scorpion sign. Okay, so we what we have here is two water signs, essentially, that will be fighting each other, uh, the crab and the scorpion. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, most crabs that I know are rather um, defensive creatures. And um, I'm not sure that the scorpion uh, will have... Uh, much to do with the crab. Uh, typically, crabs are bigger than scorpions, number one. And number two is the, the, the crab is relatively uh, uh, invulnerable, if you will. They're, uh, they have the ability to cover themselves uh, from any you know, possible soft spots that the uh, scorpion stinger can uh, can even get close to, um, let alone affect. And and, and of course, the, the, the pinchers on a crab <laughs> are about 10 times the size of a scorpion, even the biggest of scorpions. And um, so there you have that. Uh, so we have the crab and the scorpion. Uh, we'll be fighting. Uh, now, to take this a little bit further, and I'll post this uh, on, the, uh, on the video. You can look at it uh, while I'm describing this. The, uh, as I said, the Eagles uh, started their organization on July 8th. Now, of course, the 8th is the day, their day of birth, if you will, in numerology. That is typically the most significant number uh, of a person um, or of an organization, and uh, their day of birth, if you will. And the eight is a power number. It's the number of money and big business. And, uh, and, and clearly, the Eagles have been around for a long time, <clears throat> and their reputation precedes them, although they haven't been necessarily as, certainly as successful as the uh, Patriots have been um, Bill Belichick and his organization need to be commended because they are strategists. And uh, ironically, the Patriots the organization began on November 16th, 1959, many years later. However, that 16, the 1 plus 6, is a 7. Uh, the 7 is also a very formidable number. Um, it, it's, it's a number of analysis of strategy, and it's also the number of luck. Uh, you know, you have to admit, the, the Patriots um, have been pretty damn lucky their entire uh, time that the organization, uh, since the organization's been formed. Um, cons they're the standard, if you will, um, uh, over, over the time that uh, they've been uh, in football. They're the, they are the standard, and they, uh, they are consistent as no others. Um, but I think that goes more towards the scorpion and, and, and Scorpios, if you will. Cancers, of course, are ruled by the moon, very emotional, and uh, 
tend to be up and down, and and the Eagles have been. They they don't bring with them, the you know the kind of uh, consistent numbers that the Patriots do. But we're going to take this a few steps further. The personal year, then, when you do the calculations, and I'll show those on my uh, posting. When you do the calculations, the personal year that the Eagles are having, of course, this is based on 2018, which is where we are. It's the 2017-2018 season. Um, they are having an eight personal year, which ironically is the same day of their birth. So this is rather significant. Um, their personal year is an eight. The day of their birth is an eight. And for the Patriots, their personal year is an 11 year. And although their day of birth is the 16th, again, the 7 and 11 are very similar numbers. They're very mental numbers. And as you know, the Patriots, um, you have to outthink them. You can't outplay them alone. You have to outthink them. And the Eagles are going to have to be on their game from start to finish, even though, of course, they, they beat um, Minnesota, uh, or not Minnesota, but they beat um, uh, whoever it was that they beat uh, last week. Uh, yeah, it was Minnesota. Um, I, I never thought much of Minnesota to begin with. So, uh, but, the, but the personal year that the Patriots are having is an 11 year. Uh, not exactly in sync with their day of birth, the 16th. Okay, um, so we'll set that aside. The, the Eagles are in flow with their day of birth on the on the uh, in the personal year column, and the Patriots are not. The personal day that it is for the Eagles, when you combine the month, day, and personal year that they're having. It's a five day for them. It's the number of change and freedom, freedom from worry. So they're, first of all, of course, as you know, glad to be in the Super Bowl. They work very hard at it, but uh, nothing like being in the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, so the Steelers are my team. Uh, and uh, the fact that the, the Eagles in Philadelphia are on the other end of the state is not relevant here. Uh, but the personal day that the Patriots are having is an eight day. That's a power day. It's a money day. Well, they're, it's a power day and a money day for them anyway, no matter what. They're in the Super Bowl, okay? So uh, let's call that what it is. That really is kind of a wash. The game day itself, February 4th, 2018, is an eight day. When you combine those three numbers, it's a, it's a universal number of the day. It's an eight day. Okay, well, this then also is more compatible with the Eagles than it is the Patriots. Again, the Patriots organization started on a seven day. And the game day this year, February 4th, 2018, is going to be an eight day. So the eight and the seven um, are actually in conflict with one another. They're not compatible. Um, one other figure that I posted there is the quarterback for, of course, the Eagles is the number nine. Uh, Mr. Foles is a, um, you know, he's truly the number nine. He's out there, and um, he, the nine contains all of the attributes um, of the numbers one through eight. So the, the, this, you can't pick a better number for a quarterback than the number nine. I believe so. Of course, uh, Tom Brady is the number 12 which, you know, when you combine that, one and two is a three. The one, of course, is a very independent number, and the two is a bit of a recessive number, which, has, as you have seen, works extremely well for Tom Brady. He's, he's, an, he's independent out on the field as a quarterback, and yet as the quarterback, he's capable of stepping back and, and let the team carry the play forward. He understands that separation being a one and a two. And, of course, the Patriots organization demands that of their players. Um, like I said, they're, they're a machine. Um, there, there's no emotion here, you know, when you play for the Patriots. As a matter of fact, sometimes the, um, the lack of emotion 
um, in some previous Super Bowls and games uh, has cost them, you know, where they just locked up. So um, anyway, this is where we are. Um, and so I'm going to lean towards the Eagles um, on February 4th. As I said, their numbers are completely cat compatible with the day. And uh, let's let it roll from there. So uh, good luck to both teams. And uh, let me tell you, it will be a battle. There's no doubt about it. This is not going to be a lopsided game. Uh, you know, only in if, let's say, the Eagles crush Brady and break his leg or, you know, who knows what, something along those lines. So let's see where this goes from there.